Hello, and welcome to the live stream of the Plantopia Tabletopia party. My name is Seb, and we had a bit of a technical difficulty earlier on where my audio seems to not be communicating through. So I hope you guys can hear me now. All right, so welcome and uh, as mentioned, I'll be the commentator and the referee for the game. So today we actually have uh, four players with us. So you can tell they are four different vegetable, uh, three vegetable and one banana. So we have uh, for the potato player, uh, Valky. So Valky, are you there? Yeah. And for the carrot player, we have Jay. For tomato, we have Bernard. And I think Bernard has some... Hey! Yeah. And last but not least, for banana, the plant in... the, the fruit imposter among the vegetables, we have Vanessa. <laughs> hey, yeah. So... Yeah, so... Uh, what I'll be doing first is uh, just to give you guys a run-through of how the game works or uh, how to play a uh, plantopia so over here in the middle of the screen obviously there are some cards where uh, are not actually meant to be there uh, in the actual game but i have picked up some cards to make it easy easier for you guys to actually learn the game so for the players here for you to actually zoom in on the card just in case you don't already know you could point on the card and press spacebar so that zooms in and you can actually read the text a lot of the flavor text that you see there are actually pretty interesting and that makes up a lot of the game the puns are there okay so here, here we go on to the game so in this game you are actually attempting to be the best planter the best person to plant uh, vegetables in the world of uh, plantopia and of course the game actually ends when any one player plants their fourth trevolve plant. So what are trevolve plants? Okay, let me get right to it. So over here, uh, let me just zoom in on the first plant. So this, you can see the card is called Pointless Cactus. There are a couple of uh, symbols on the card itself. So on the top left-hand corner, that is actually the cost to play. So in the planting phase, you actually have to discard one card to play Pointless Cactus, to plant Pointless Cactus into one of the planters which would start at level zero. Okay, and of course, it will start growing uh, as the weather comes along or you actually choose to grow your plants uh, in the planting phase. So other than that, you will see that on the top right-hand corner of the card, uh, there is this colorful leaf symbol uh, alongside an arrow pointing upwards. That just shows that for pointless cactus, at the end of the game, for each level that pointless cactus is at, it's worth one point. Okay, other than that, at the bottom of the screen, uh, sorry, at the bottom of the card, you will see a lightning bolt or yeah, somewhat like a thunder, thunderbolt sim symbol. So that means that when you plant pointless characters, something actually takes place immediately. And in this card itself, it will be that you get to draw four cards and then you choose to discard two cards from your hand. So that's what the immediate effect of pointless characters does. And the last uh, important symbol here, the bottom right hand corner, you can see that this plant belongs to a class uh, of plants known as succulent. And the circle around it just means that it is a baby plant. So if you do find plants that have a hexagonal uh, symbol, someone like the uh, ABG logo, that means that that plant is actually a trevolve plant. So remember we mentioned the game ends when somebody plants their fourth trevolve plant. So that, that, that's the symbol to look out for. If any of the player have four hexagonal symbol at the bottom right hand corner of four different plants they will actually trigger end game there will be a last weather phase and we will move on to scoring the two sun icons that you see below pointless characters that is actually uh what will trigger this plant to grow during weather phase so pointless characters actually requires two suns to grow during the weather phase so that's for pointless characters let me move on to talk about another plant. So for pepper tree, I just want to highlight 
most of the things you see there are similar to uh, the pointless cactus. The difference here is that on the bottom right hand corner, you see that this belongs to a plant of a plant type which are trees. And of course, in this uh, plant's special uh, effect or the effect that takes place when you plant when you actually plant this in, immediately you get to draw a bonus weather tile. So over on the right hand side, you could see there are sorry on on the left hand side you could see that there are three different uh bonus weathers that are not affiliated to any player yeah i'm just going to be flipping the banana uh, weather so you can tell so over there on on the uh banana player you could tell that for the weather itself they actually have banana symbols on them and that signifies that those cards belong to the banana player yeah but as we go back to the uh, the bonus cards, these cards don't actually have any... Ooh, zoom gone wrong. Okay, let me see what's going on. Okay, yep. So for those weathers, uh, those weather cards that you see that are in the middle of the playing field, they do not belong to any uh, any player. So they, those are bonus weather cards. And on the weather phase, which I will explain later on, you could actually use this Okay, another type of uh, a plant card that we would see would be the flower plant. So over here, you could see that we have a violet, which is a flower plant. And you can see that this is a trevolf plant because you could find the hexagonal symbol at the bottom right-hand corner of this card. And the effect for this card itself just says that when you plant this, is any plant that you have that are among your planters, including Violet itself, you could choose one of them and level it up by one level. Yep. So to plant Violet, uh, as you can see on the top left-hand corner, the number that you see there is three. This means you need to discard three cards. And at the same time, at the top right-hand corner, because this is kind of a, a more advanced plant, it's a trevor plant, it actually gives you three points per level it is at at the end of the game. So what are some other symbols I would like to uh, bring across to all of you? If you take a look at the Arrowhead card. So for Arrowhead, at the bottom you see this uh, watering can symbol. It means that when you plant Arrowhead down, you would actually gain another plant or grow uh, action that you could take. Yeah, Because in the planting phase, there are a few things that you could do. Uh, one of three things, which I will explain just a little bit later on. And for Arrowhead, now, on the top left-hand corner, you do not see a card symbol that has a number. Instead, you see a flower with a number. This means that to plant Arrowhead, you would require to sacrifice a flower plant. It could be a baby flower. It could be a trevor flower. But that flower has to be of level 1. So, some one final symbol that i just want to bring across to all of your attention is the uh flower at, at the bottom of the card you see a flower symbol that has a tick that signifies that this card doesn't give immediate effect because it's not a lightning bolt as per the other cards that i've seen before but this card actually gives you end game bonus so the end game bonus for this money plan it would be that you gain one extra point for every two cards you have in your hand at the end of the game. The cards that we mentioned here do not include your weather cards. That means your own personalized three weather cards of rain, wind and sun, they are not included. But bonus weather cards which you haven't played by the end of the game would count towards this uh, point uh, total. We have this weird looking plant. At the bottom, you could see there is no special effect, but instead it has two Trevor plant symbol. This means that it actually is a uh, trigger to some other cards that actually allow you for bonus points. But this card itself doesn't mean that it is two different Trevor plant. It is still considered one for the purpose of counting towards the four plant that triggers the end game. So this is for this weird sounding plant. And of course, there are just some plants that give you three bonus points towards the end of the game, like Holy Trinity. And for cards like Square Root of Tree, the end game bonus is that it gives you two points for every level three plant you have. So of, of course, if you are building up a, a mountain of level three plants, 
yeah, this will give you quite a bit of points towards the end. And remember, we saw the weird sounding plant. Yeah. So for this plant, cacti, it gives you uh, two points for every trivolve succulent or trivolve flowers that you actually have in play. So remember the weird sounding plant, the uh, abnormal potted planted potted plants that will actually count as two plants for the purpose of cacti's point calculation towards the end of the game. Okay, so we've gone through quite a number of the cards. Let's just go into go straight into how to play the game. So there will be two phases in, in the game. There's the planting phase and the weather phase. For planting phase, the, the straight away thing that you could do in planting phase is every player would get to draw a card and beyond the drawing of a card, you could actually choose one of three actions. The first, you could plant a plant. You have to pay the appropriate cost and take its effect. Or instead, you could choose to grow a plant. So for growing a plant, you will actually discard a card for every num for, for the number that you see on the top left -hand corner of the uh, card. So for example, if I have pointless characters in one of my planter as such, okay, I'm just going to use the potato play as a, as a sample. So if in this planting phase, I decided that instead of planting a further plant, I'm just going to be growing pointless characters, I could discard one card and grow it by one level. Yeah, and you are only sub you're, you're only allowed to grow it once. Okay, so that's for growing phase. If you instead have a card like Holy Trinity, for example, because the top left hand says tree, even though it's, it's three trees, what you have to do is to discard three cards. You, you ignore the symbol other than the number for the growing part of the planting phase. So you have to discard three cards to play, uh, to, to grow Holy Trinity by one level. And of course, the third thing you could do in the planting phase, other than planting or growing, is that you could choose to draw one card. Yep, and that will be the end of the planting phase. So the moment the planting phase is completed, we will go straight into the weather phase. Planting phase is done simultaneously. So all players could just do what they need during the planting phase. During the weather phase, each player will then choose one of their weather cards and play it face down. So remember we mentioned earlier on that you would require certain weather to grow certain plants. So let's just use Arrowhead as, a, as an example. So you could see that Arrowhead requires two wind and one water card or one rain card to actually grow. So as each player will be playing one weather card and we will also be drawing one further weather card from this weather pile. Yeah, it's basically a deck made up of the last players, uh, the fifth players weather cards. There'll be a total of five weather cards that will be faced up at any point in time during the weather phase. So then you will match for each plant that you have in your planters, the weather card appropriate to it. If it uh, satisfy the criteria to grow, it would grow. Okay, another thing I just want to highlight during the uh, weather phase. For example, if we look at pepper tree, because there are five weather cards, if the five weather cards happen to include two sun and two rain pepper tree can actually grow two levels during the weather phase so it's really powerful if you actually plan it right and you actually time it well for growth so for those of you who actually remember the bonus weather card that you have gotten if let's say you plant a pepper tree you will be able to get a, a win bonus win weather card so during the weather phase if after seeing the five weather cards, you're not satisfied. You could actually play the six weather card from your hand, the bonus weather card. That weather card would only take its effect on your plants. It doesn't affect other players' plants because you're trying to give yourself a boost and you can actually trigger whichever growth effect uh, the bonus weather card has together with the five weather cards. So you, for that round, you actually have six weather to actually choose from for each of your plants. Okay, with that said, uh, that's the boring stuff. Yeah, we could actually start the game. You could see that the game is already set up for four players and each player actually have five planter cards. So that signifies the amount of plants you could actually uh, plant. Yeah, once you run out of planter cards, you could no longer plant cards anymore. When a plant actually reaches level three, yeah, when a card actually reaches level three, instead of putting it on top of your planter, you just simply rotate it sideways and put it at the side thus freeing up one of the planter cards. 
So for all the players, are you guys ready to play? Yes, no? Yeah, okay. So so let's go. So what I will do... Hey, <laughs> sounds great. So what I'm going to do is to deal each, each of you five cards. Or rather, I will just deal six cards to all of you and thus starting the first planting phase. So what you could do now is you could take your weather cards and put it in your hand. Leave the planter cards in the playing field because you will need them. Yep, and let the game begin. So I'm sure you guys have six cards now. And I shouldn't have any cards. But because I because of the limitation of of uh tabletopia, I'm dealt cards as well. So to the viewers out there, I just want to highlight as well while we are waiting for each player to strategize how they want to plant their first plant. Yeah, this version of Plantopia that we are playing isn't the final version of the game, but it's modified to suit what is feasible to be played on Tabletopia. So not to worry, the rules will be slightly different uh, uh, towards the end. Yeah, and we have to adapt it because there are some uh, ways of playing that isn't possible on Tabletopia. Okay, we are off and I guess you guys are just reading all your plant cards. Yeah, so we can see immediately Bernard trying to space out his playing area to make his cards look bigger, I guess. And nobody has done anything yet. You guys could actually choose to plant your first plant because it's a simultaneous play. Yeah. I'm just going to take away all irrelevant things to the playing field. Yeah. Yeah, you, you could just... Yeah, don't worry. Just discard it in the middle and I will, I will sort out the discard pile. Right, so you have to play Tulip on a planter card. Alright, you get to draw cards for baby characters. Yep, and for Tulip, the, its effect is uh, it grows itself by one level. Yep, you just draw the card accordingly. Okay, so um, seems like we are running to another technical difficulty. Hmm. Okay, well, we are waiting for each player to play their first card. Let me try to troubleshoot this technical issue. I guess hiccups are part and parcel of life. Okay, I hope we are back live. Seems like audio is a bit tricky for the other players. Yep. For some reason, it doesn't want to pick up the other players' voices, although they all have lovely voices. So let's recap what's happening in yeah, let's recap on what's happening in the playing field. So it seems that for Valky, Valky has actually played a uh, tulip. Let's just see Valky. So Valky, your your two yep, the effect of tulip will actually allow uh you to level itself up by one level. That's just tulip's effect on its own. For baby cactus, uh I believe. Jay has already drawn two cards. Yep, for for Danessa, have you have you played any card? You played it face down.
Oh, you're, you're playing characters? Okay, so, so let me just play it in for you. Yep, and this is the card that you chose to discard. Sure, okay. Okay. So what is this? <laughs> we are seeing this. We are seeing this weird card that is actually that is actually on top of one of your planter. Do you, do you see it as well? I can't seem to be able to remove it. You, yeah, you hard. Something seems to be hard coded for you. And for Bernard, Bernard actually played Buttercup, and Buttercup's effect is allow it, it allows any any of its plant to grow itself by one level. Okay, let's just come back to the original playing field. Okay, so all of you guys would uh, are ready to start off your first weather phase. So could you guys please please play a weather card in the middle and I will sort it out and I'll flip all the weather cards together. Okay, from what I understand, you would you'll be able to see what the uh, fifth weather card is. So and that is a win. So you could reconsider what you want to play. Okay, so we are having all the weather cards being thrown into the playing field. So I'm guessing the Nessa you wanted to play water. And we have three wind and two water. So how does that affect everyone? So tulip will grow to its maximum level. Yep, so nothing happens for baby cactus. Yeah, nothing happened for cactus and and buttercup is good. Buttercup is at level two. So with that, please take back your weather cards, the one that correspond to your own character. And I will deal each of you one card and we will move on to the next planting phase. Okay, so you guys should have a new card now. And because I believe the people over at YouTube can't hear the rest of the players, so I'll be sounding like a monologue here. Yep, but it's getting a bit lively here. Every player is, is getting competitive. And I, if I haven't already announced, there is actually a prize for winning this game. Yeah, so the prize is actually a fully signed autographed copy of Plantopia that will be sent over to you if you win today's game. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more reaction from the players, but there's no reaction at all. Yeah, so you, you, you're going to get a... Okay, there's a lot of laughter here now. They're starting to feel what the... Sorry, who's the one signing? Okay, there's a question uh, from one of the players. Who's the one signing? The team that is actually involved in, uh, in Plantopia will be signing. So the art, the, the illustrator, the designer, uh, the one that created uh, the IP, the, 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 the art itself, the IP, yeah, the whole team will actually sign uh, the copy before sending it across to all of you. Okay, so while I actually am informing everybody of what's happening, we are seeing some planting action. Okay, so let me just help some of the players correct what's happening. So Tulip would have been at maximum level already. Yep, and uh, let's... Yep, so what, yeah, what natural flower means is it actually levels another plant up by one. Yeah, so Cactus will grow up by one level, so that is at... Level 1, yeah. Uh, let me just do it for you, no worries. For the... Yep. So for the carrot player, carrot player, you can't play a square root of 3 yet because you would require a planted, a planted level 2 tree to play it. So that is an illegal move. Please retrieve back your square root of 3, yeah. 
Yep, you need a planted level 2 tree to sacrifice. And let's take a note at what 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 Bernard is doing. And he has planted his first tree wolf plant. He sacrificed his buttercup for call a lily. Yep. Just in case for the viewers out there, you can't actually see or read the flavor text. So let me do it on behalf of you. So for buttercup, it's something interesting. The flavor text that you see on buttercup is blossoms among the bubbles. Yeah. If you are of my age group, you would know what reference this card has to. I'm not going to give it away. So that's just for you to ponder. That's a pun. And let's see what's happening. So we could see that for, for Valky, he has chose to play a pointless cactus. Do you manage to draw your cards, Valky? As per pointless cactus uh, effect. Not yet? Okay. So you get to draw four and discard two. Yep, and which is a legal move? Playing a playing a tulip. Okay, yep. So for if since you played the tulip, you can actually level tulip up by one. Yeah, and I'm I'm just hel helping you here because tulip's effect is it levels itself up by one. Yeah. So, are we all done with our planting phase? I think we are all are. So with with that, no, I, I believe, uh, Valky is still discarding his. Per yeah, yeah, please, yeah, please draw your cards first. Yeah, please draw your cards first. If you still have to draw cards, please do them. Yeah, just discard it in the middle of the playing field. I will settle the discarding for you, not to worry. So you have discarded Monte Carlo tree to play it, I guess. And so are we all done with this cutting? Okay, so let's now review the next weather before you guys play. So the weather that all of you get bonus from mushroom is win again. So please consider what weather you would like to play. Okay, so I think we are missing one weather card. Oops. Okay, so we have all the weather cards here and I'm just going to be flipping them. And so in this round, we have two sun, two wind and one rain. So who's the big winner in terms of growth for this round? Let's check it out. So... It seems like pointless cactus would be growing by one level. Tulip will be growing as well by one. Yay! Yep, so for for the banana player, yep, so for banana player, what happens is that the natural flower will grow two levels and it's at level two now. Cactus will grow up by one, it's at level two as well. And for our last player, it's called Lily grew up by one. Yep, natural flower should be at level two because you just played it this round. You 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 plant it at level zero. Yep, it's planted at yeah, it's planted at level. No, it doesn't grow itself. It grows another plant by one. That's why cactus. Yeah, that's why cactus is at level two now. Okay, so there's a bit of a confusion of how the growing works, but not to worry. I'm here to clear it up. Yep. Yeah, it grows something. Yeah. So, uh, so when natural flower comes in, yep, yeah, it grows another plant by one level. 
So please take back your own weather card and I will deal you guys. Okay, we have a question. Yes, it does. Which is why for your... Yeah. You get to grow it twice. Okay, so the question that is being raised here is, yeah, yep, yep. The question here is, if you get two sun and two wind, does natural flower grow twice? It does grow twice. So that's why natural flower is at level two now. Okay, so since everybody got back their weather card, I'm just going to deal each one a card. So you should have a new card now. And while waiting for everybody to actually plant their cards, or to do whatever they want to do during the planting phase. Let's take a look at another pun. So this is one of my favorite puns. It is for the card geometry. So in geometry, it says, support the use of tractors in farming. Be pro tractor. Yeah, I like it, man. I mean, the last time I read this, I burst out laughing, so. I'm sure some of you out there may be laughing, but it's it's a it's a it's a really clever it's a really clever uh, card. Okay, we have one player trying to draw the entire deck. Hey, that's not allowed. Okay, it's getting a bit it's getting a bit messy. Yeah, anyway, that that player apologized in case you can't hear hear the player over there on the YouTube live. So, I'm pretty bummed that. The player's voice are not are not sounding out. Yeah, it, it went well in our trial run. So, have everybody played their plan? Okay, let's take a look at what's happening for each player. So, for the potato player, a cactus has been planned. And uh, have you drawn your card? I hope you have. You have to draw five and discard four for cactus. Sure, yep, so he's going to do the discarding. So meanwhile, let's look at uh, the next player. For the carrot player, you played Buttercup and you choose to level Tulip up, I'm guessing. Is that right? Yeah, okay, cool. So Tulip is now at level 3 and you can free that planter up now. Yeah and, ro yeah, and rotate it. So this is, it's good. Okay, let's move on to... Yep, you can rotate it. So for Cactus... So you've played Buttercup. Which uh, plant do you plan to level it up by one? You can only choose one. So you chose Natural Flower. Okay, so Cactus should be at level two. Yeah, choose one, choose one. Yeah, so all its effect is only you get to choose one. Yeah, okay, so... No worries. Let's move on to the tomato player. Yeah, so he played baby cactus. And let's move back to the banana player. So natural natural flower should Yeah, once it's level three, you can do this. Yeah, so so yeah, let's let me help you with that. So it seems like are we all clear for this planting phase? Okay, if we are I'm gonna be dealing the common weather card. We have we have sun this round, so it's, it's a new weather card. After a long while. It's nice and sunny again. Just like how it is in Singapore all the time. And okay. Some of you have chose to play your weather face up, no worries. That's totally legal. Okay, so we have all the weather, and in this round, there is 3 wind and 2 sun. 3 wind and 2 sun, how does that affect every player? 3 wind and 2 sun, so pointless cactus of the potato player will grow. Buttercup will grow. Baby cactus is at max level for the carrot player. Natural flower will grow. Buttercup will grow as well. So natural flower should be at level 3 now. So just a reminder, the weather cards actually take 
its effect, all five of them, to each individual plant separately. So you don't actually have to pick and choose which one you want to grow. They all apply its effect to each plant. So buttercup should be at level one. And just let's just take a look. So over here for tomato player, Baber cactus have grown by two level and it's at level two. And that would end the uh that would end the weather weather phase. So let's hit back and please take back your weather cards. And I will deal you guys a new card to start off the next planting phase. Alright, so you guys have a new card now. And let just let's just do a check. How far are we from the end of the game? So for player one, no trevolve plant, player two. No Trevolve plant, player 3, no Trevolve plant, and player 4, one Trevolve plant. So we are kind of 25% along the way to reaching the end of the game. And given that it's planting phase, it's back to my favorite part of the section, a new pun. And let me look at my list of pun and which one should I actually highlight. Is there any cards that's being discarded that sounds like it's going to be a new good plan for me to actually highlight? So, let's just see. So you could see the card that I've just... Yep, so there, there's a question here. Once a plant reach level 3, yep. Yep, you rotate a plant uh, by 90 degrees and you put it at the side and it frees up a planter. Oh, it seems like there is some progress. Yep, that's right. Yep. Yep. No, that doesn't matter. But if you are if you are choosing to, to plant cards that actually have a uh, number and a, a plant type, you have to discard. Not from your hand, but discard a, a card that's already planted. So for example, let me see if I can find an example to the players uh, out there. There's a question, how do we plant plants? Let me just look through the discard pile and find something good to talk about. Okay, so for example, if you look at this uh, cacti that I have over here, for cacti itself, yeah, because it doesn't just say, uh, it doesn't just show a uh, card, it says, a succulent and two so what it means that you have to actually uh, sacrifice instead of saying the word discard you have to sacrifice a level two or higher succulent from your planter that means from what is already in play to plant cacti in it so i hope that is clear okay so are we all done with the planting phase Yep, that's right. Yep, you get it and you put it in your hand. So you can use it during a weather phase. So one of the players actually planted trigonometry. Yep, and its effect it allows uh, the player to actually receive a rain card as a bonus weather and you can actually play this in the next weather or whichever weather phase you would like and that will actually trigger a six weather for him alone so is everybody happy with the planting phase are we all good yeah quite a number of cards to be discarded Let me just clean up the play area a little bit. We should be all good. Okay, so with that said, let's see what is the weather card for this round. So the weather card that is already face up would be... Win!
Okay, so we have every player's weather card and let me attempt to flip them at one go because it, it's always more exciting to do that together, right? And we have three rain and two win this round. Three rain and two win. Let's check out how it affects each player. So for Perito player, woo, trigonometry levels up by two levels because it actually satisfied its weather requirement twice. For Carrot player, well, we can see that Buttercup is leveling up. For the Banana player, Buttercup is leveling up. Yep. Yep, Tulip, you have... Oh, okay. Tulip is leveling up in this round. Okay, I, I missed that. I'm so sorry. So Tulip is now at level 3. So that marks quite a number of level 3 plants for each player. And for the Tomato player... Well, Call a Lily is now at level 3. So let's rotate it and put it at the side. Cast Ring 1 Planter for the Tomato player. And with that, shall we all retrieve our weather cards back? And I will deal a new card task starting the next planting phase. So let's deal everybody a card. Okay, so let's see the card that I've just drawn. So, Carnation, a country of many cars. So, if you've just joined us, this is the Plantopia Tabletopia party, and we have four contestants who made it through the Plant Pun Contest and they are competing to try to win the first live contest of Plantopia. Sorry, I think there was a question. Was there? No? Yes? No? No. No? Okay, we're good. And if you haven't already uh, backed Plantopia on Kickstarter, you should definitely check out uh, the Plantopia Kickstarter page down on the description box that I have below and you should definitely back it because as what you can see cards are cute it's vibrant you can play it with your friends and your family do back it now we are looking to unlock more stretch goals and I'm saying this because I am a backer myself and I want more stretch goals unlocked all right so we have a few cards being thrown out and let me read another pun. This one I really like. It's called the Boba Tree. It is grown from organic Boba Pearls. So let's just check in with each player what has happened. So the Padeo player has planted Pepper Tree. The Carrot player has planted Arrowhead. So for Arrowhead, did you actually uh, take another planting... Uh, action you could plant something else or you could choose to discard something to grow one of your plants yeah that's the effect of arrowhead okay wow well, the carrot player is thinking you could see that the banana player has planted cactus i hope you have drawn your card and discarded your cards and the tomato player has planted Natural flower, no, has planted trigonometry. Oh, which one has he planted? I'm confused now. Trigonometry, okay, good. So have you have you gotten your bonus weather? I hope you have. Okay, all right. So yeah, he did. So we could see that uh, the we could see that the carrot player has chosen to level up uh, arrowhead by one, and with that, is buttercup the discarded card? Yeah. Okay. So he has discarded buttercup to. To grow, to grow arrowhead. Okay, no worries. Oh, 
Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so with that said, let's move straight into the weather phase. So you sacrifice the buttercup, but I, I see that you have grown arrowhead by one. Do you discard another card to grow it in that planting phase? The, the bonus planting phase, the arrowhead. Okay, so do you discard another card to, to, to level it up? Have you done that? Okay, sure. So, in that case, let's move straight into the weather phase. And the weather for this round is rain. So, we already have rain or water. Okay, so all the cards are in and we have oh a mixture of weather this round. We have two sun, two wind, and one rain. Two sun, two wind, and one rain. So how does that affect each player? So pointless cactus would have grown to its max level. Cactus is growing, trigonometry is growing, pepper tree is growing, everybody is growing. It's a great round. Arrowhead has grown as well. Chapters has grown. And, and we can see that I believe uh, the tomato player has decided to use a bonus weather tile. He has discarded his rain to trigger a, a second rain. So what happens is trigonometry now levels itself up by 2 because it requires 2 rain. Alright, so let me take back the bonus rain card. And with that, please take back your own weather card. I'm dealing you guys a new card. So the card I have featured now is called Firecracker Flower Explosive Seed Dispersal. Sounds powerful. Okay, so one of the players is telling me he's playing something crazy. So what ha what are you trying to do? <laughs> so you are playing a captus, or you're discarding a captus. Okay. Captus, sure. Yeah. Okay, that's right. So this is now level zero. Captus, captus is gone. Yep, that's right. Okay. Yep, that's right. That's, that's So what he has done is he played uh, Captors, sacrificing Captors, and he plays Lily uh, of the Rainbow as a bonus planting phase of Captors, and he dis and he sacrificed Tulip, which is at level three. And yeah, that is perfectly legal move. So no worries, we are good. So there are many cards that are being discarded now. All right. Yep, that's totally fine. So I can see that for the banana player, she has planted abnormal potted, planted potted plants. I totally hate 
reading this card because it sounds like a tongue twister to me all the time. And this card is not even in its final form, so yeah. Yeah. Abnormal potted planted potted plants. Yeah. It means that for certain cards, it actually uh, acts as two flowers, but now you have one tree ball plant in uh, the form of this card. And yeah, so this is your first tree ball plant. It doesn't mean anything on its own. It's it's a it's a trigger for something. Yeah, yeah. This is a tree ball plant. So, yeah, our tomato player has decided to play money plant. Uh, okay. So there are some other cards that actually uh has a has a end game uh effect that is dependent on uh certain symbols. Like for example, because this gives you two trivial flower symbols, some cards actually give you bonuses on that. I hope that is clear. Yeah, yeah. There, there are some other cards that that does that. Let me see if there's any card in play that does it. I don't think anybody has a has a plan that does it. Okay, take a look at. Uh, tomato players call a lily that he has at level 3. So call a lily will actually, if he has the abnormal potted, planted potted plants, it will actually score him 4 extra points because it actually satisfy uh, the, the criteria he has at the bottom of this call a lily card. So that card alone gives it 2 extra symbols for this, for the stacking of the points. So that's just how you use uh, Call Lily and Abnormal Potted Planted Potted Plants. Man, I really hate that name. Okay, so are we all good with the planting phase? Anybody want to highlight to me that you have three or four tree of plants? Sure. Yep, there's a question on natural flower. It, it levels another plant that you have planted up by one level. So that's that's the power of natural flower. Its effect is you can choose another plant and you can level another plant up by one level. Yeah, no problem. So just a half time half yeah just a half time check. Uh, player one has two trivial plant. Player two has two trivial plant. Player three has one trivial plant and player four has two trivial plants. Okay. So we are halfway there, guys. We are halfway there. And it's weather phase. So please start thinking what weather you would require. And I'm It, no, no. When I, when I say, okay, so there's a question, what is a tree evolved plant? If you see a plant... Okay, tree evolved plant means if if at the bottom right-hand corner of, of... Yeah, if the bottom right-hand corner symbol of your card has a hexagonal sign, it is a tree evolved plant. So you're going to make me do this again. Abnormal potted planted potted plants is a tree evolved plant. But the, yeah, because it has the hexagonal symbol... Yeah, so you can't hear this on live stream, but she's feeling a bit bad for making me say that name one more time. <laughs> okay, so the weather for this phase is wind. It's wind. Man, I should join a tongue twister contest just saying abnormal potted planted potted plants. Abnormal potted planted potted plants. I'm just gonna keep saying until everybody has their weather out. Abnormal potted planted potted plants. Abnormal potted planted potted plants. Okay, everybody has their weather cut out. Finally. <laughs> yeah. So the guys here are considering giving me a prize for saying it over and over again. So let's flip all the... Okay, so in this round, we have 
two sun and three wind. Check it out. How does that affect all the players? Two sun and three wind. So let's see. Ooh, Lily of the Rainbow is going to be leveling itself up. And Captors as well, I guess. Two sun and three wind. And are you playing the bonus weather card? Oh yeah, okay, so so what, what potato playing what potato player is doing now is he's gonna have four wind and two sun tasks triggering Lily of the Rainbow to level up twice. Is that what you are trying to do here? Yes, no, I hope so. Yep, that and that's 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 perfectly right. That's what you can do. Alright, all, all okay, so let's check out the rest of the player what's happening. So for carrot player, nothing happened. Yeah, so he can play the extra weather because he has it. So nothing happens really for banana player because they require rain. And money plant has leveled itself up. Money, money, money. Well, gosh, I'm old. Okay, so let's take back our weather cards and let's move on to the next planting phase. And let's deal everybody a card. So, so what is the punt of this round? Let me see. Okay, the pun of this round, I'm just going to focus on Succulent because I really like that card. So Succulent, the flavor text, its favorite drink is Yulin. Think about it, guys. What does it mean? Suck Yulin. Okay. So things are happening in the planting phase. Everybody is just sorting different, different cards all around the place. And I can see that Tomato player has sacrificed one of his level 3 plant to play to play the Arrogant Pickle. Wow, oh, that's a powerful card. Okay, so in okay, there's a question. In the event you can't plant a plant, nor could you grow a plant because you can't meet either of the requirements. I mean you could choose to discard the card and grow arrowhead. That is if you want to. If not, you could actually just choose to draw a, another card. Yeah, so your your options here are you could discard a card to, to, to grow arrowhead up by one level or you could draw another card. Yeah. So th those are the options that are given to you. Yeah. In the actual game, uh or the final rules of the game, yeah. You instead of uh, drawing one, it would actually be you can actually pick five cards from the top of the deck and choose one, and you return the rest of the four cards. But that is one of the one of the rules that is not feasible on Tabletopia because you can't really do that. We can't really validate that you are putting cards back from what you drawn. So yeah. So is any player reaching? Four Trevor plant. Let's just quickly have a look. We have two here from potato. We have two here from carrot. We have two from uh, banana. And from the tomato player, we have three. So we are close, guys. We are going to be reaching the end game. And just in case the pun is not apparent, yeah. Uh, from what uh, insider news that I got, Arrogant Prickle will be renamed, and its new name would be Tornos. Think about it, Tornos. Okay, it's the weather phase again, guys. So please. <laughs> so every player is now just having a look at Arrogant Pickle. Arrogant prickle as I as I mentioned it. So anyway, the weather phase now. Yep, the, the common card is rain. It's rain. While waiting for the rest of the players to play their weather card. If you've just joined us, this is the Plantopia Tabletopia party. We are kind of reaching the end of the game. Thank you for 
staying with us despite the audio technical difficulty. You are hearing a monologue from me. And just in case you haven't heard me saying this, abnormal potted planted potted plants. Your rain card disappeared. Is it in your hand? Your wind card disappeared. Okay, we are looking we are looking for a missing banana wind. Anybody has accidentally took it in or you're trying Will the missing banana card please turn up? Okay. 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 I'm just going to help. I'm just going to Okay, you got it. I was trying my very best to get it for you but I couldn't. So, okay. So we are waiting we are, we are waiting for your for your weather card. And just for the viewers out there, one more time, you were going to hear me say it, abnormal potted planted potted plants. Okay, so here we go. Let's flip them one by one. So we have two sun, two wind, and one ring. So how does that affect all our players? Seems like many plants are... Yeah, seems like many plants are actually growing. Two sun. Okay, let's just recap. Two sun, two rain, and one rain. Two sun, two wind, and one rain. So let's take a look. Nothing much to, seems to be happening for Tomato Player because most of his cards are KV in terms of weather requirements and Money Plant and Arrogant Prickle doesn't seem to stack well in terms of growing. Because they require three different weather cards altogether. So once you're done growing all your plants, please. Oh, I can see that there's a bonus water that's being used from Potato Player. So what has happened? It's going to trigger Pepper Tree to grow twice. Nice. Natural Flower is already growing twice on its own, and Captors will grow once. And let's just do a stock check in terms of bonus weather. Yeah, if you're done, please do take back your weather card. So we can move on to the next and possibly last planting phase. I say possibly because one of the players could trigger end game if he or she requires. Okay, so let's go ahead and deal you guys one card. And the card I'm featuring here is Cactus. Meow. Okay, and it seems like the end game would be triggered because the Tomato player has played Holy Trinity and he has sacrificed Trigonometry past triggering end game because he has four different uh, he has four trivolve plant. So guys, this will be the very last round. We are finally at the end game. And please stay tuned to find out who has won. Okay. Are we all done with planting? Let's just check. Let's just check in with everyone. Is everybody's planting good to go? Yep, the challenge of hosting a simultaneous play game is everything happens at the same time. So I'm trying to keep up as well. 
And if everybody is happy with planting its weather phase once again, and I'm just going to be playing the common weather card, and the common weather card is rain. It's rain. And while waiting for the rest of the players to play their weather card, let me see what are some of the other puns that I haven't mentioned that I really like. So one of them that I really like is the Monte Carlo tree. I don't think it's anywhere. Has anybody played the Monte Carlo tree? No, nobody has it. So Monte Carlo tree, the flavor text or the pun involved is that its favorite game is Go. The Monte Carlo tree loves playing Go. And we have the final weather phase. And in this round, we have two sun, two rain, and one wind. So because this is the last weather phase, and I can see that there are no bonus weather cards in any player's hand. So whatever you see is whatever you get. Two sun, two rain, and one wind. So let's check out two sun, two rain, and one wind. Oh, somebody has a level 3 Captors. And it seems like Succulent is growing as well. And who else do we have? Some movements here for the Banana player. And for the one triggering Endgame, ooh, nothing has grown. Nothing has grown. Okay, so so we have triggered endgame and I'm going to actually uh, help each player count their score. So guys, once you're done growing your plants, please put your cursors aside so you don't actually change anything further. And I'm going to be attempting to uh, calculate everybody's score. So let's start with the potato player so for potato player ooh, just from the levels itself so we can see that there's captors so captors earn six points three points three points three points three points so that's 18 plus nine points 27 and we have a level one pointless character so that's 28 from just the levels itself the other uh, point cards that they have is that Lady of the Rainbow gives two extra bonus points for every level 3 plant uh, he has. And he has six of them, so that's a bonus 12 points. Thus scoring him a total of, if my math is right, 40 points! Potato player, well done! 40 points. Let's... Let's move on to the carrot player. So for the carrot player, we can see that uh, Succulent actually gives uh, 3 points per level, so that's 6. Core Lily hasn't leveled up. Arrowhead gives 6 points, so that's 12 points. And Core Lily has a bonus of 2 points for every flower type plant that they have, and he has 2 of them. So that would be 12 points plus 4 points, 16 points plus another two points for a level three arrowhead so that brings us to 18 points am i right i think so okay there's no complaints from the player i guess so 18 points for the carrot player yep let's move on to the banana player so banana player has uh two two level three two level three characters so that's six points and one level one abnormal potted planted potted plants is now my favorite card to say so that brings it a total of eight points from level and carnation actually gives two bonus points for every trevolve tree or uh, flower so and banana player has four of them so that's a bonus eight points so adding the eight points to the eight points that she, uh, she had earlier so that's a total of 16 points and let's move on to the last player. So for the player that triggered the end game, there's a level three core lily, so that is six points. 
There is a level 1 money plant, so there's 2 points, so there's a total of 8 points. 3 bonus points from Holy Trinity, that brings it to 11. How many cards do you have in your hand? I can see you do have 5 cards, but you do have weather cards out there as well. Could you empty your hand? Yeah, no, I'm asking uh, the Tomato player, because he has a card that actually... Okay, so he's emptying his hand. So he has one, two, he has three cards. So which means that, yeah, which, which means that money plant would actually score him one extra point. So we are at 12. Arrogant Pricker will score him two points because it itself is a succulent. So we are at 14. And Call Lily will be earning an extra point. 4 points because Money Plant and Call Lily are flowers. So, where am I? <laughs> 11, 12, 14, plus 4. We have 18 points. So, I'm guessing no surprises here. The winner, the Potato Player. And the Potato Player actually has 40 points. He actually let. Yeah, so if you can't hear, they are actually having a bit of a cheer here for the winner of the game. Wow, it's unbelievable. Yep, so there's there's a there's an inside joke within the players. Because for the potato player, he has actually stated that he wanted to buy, he wanted to buy four four decks, one to play, one to keep, one to sleeve. I'm not so sure what's the last one for. And now he has a fifth deck, so he has many decks of cards. So if you are friends of his, well, you you, you can actually oh yeah, there's there's a fifth deck to frame up. So now he has enough decks to to do all the things he want with Plantopia. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe he can actually combine two or three two or three decks of his and make it a grand party by playing, I don't know, 14 players or what. Maybe that is possible. No, it's not because of the weather phase. But anyway, anyway, congratulations to the uh, potato player. And for you over in live stream, for you over in live stream, you probably can't hear this. So uh, I'm just going to end off the live stream shortly. Uh, while for the players on uh, on set, uh, I will invite the designer to actually speak to them. I'm, I'm sure the audio issue hasn't gone away. So we hope you had a great time watching Plantopia Tabletopia Party. And if you enjoy more of such board gaming videos, please do remember to subscribe to Amateur Board Gamer. Give this video a like and share it with your friends who are looking for a great family tabletop game. The Plantopia Kickstarter campaign is currently still on. The link can be found on the description box below. Please do check it out. Follow us on all of our social media and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.